Is Africa under siege by European merchants and missionaries, or is it a new beginning? Stay tuned to find out on this special edition of Africa News. Joining us, we have special guests, one from, represented from the Congo, as well as from Portugal. What's up? <laughs> All right, we'll start with uh, a couple questions to get this discussion. The first is, what is your stance on this situation? I think it's a terrible idea that the Portuguese are gonna come to Africa and try to impose their ways on us. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. The Portuguese are awesome. We should totally have them come. Right, thank you for your answers. The next question is, how will this affect our economy? Um, it's going to be really bad for the indigenous people. Nah, nah. They already provide us with a garrison for economic protection for both of us. They're going to exploit us. Nah, but you see, we've already made so much money from them protecting us, and they're also providing skilled workers like tailors and shoemakers. Did you see what happened to the Americas? Did you see what happened there? <laughs> but the Americas are far away, and they're our friends, and they're protecting us right now. Why would they betray us? Yeah, the Native Americans thought they were their friends too. Okay, okay. Before this gets too heated, we'll go on to our next question. The third and final question is, how will this affect our culture? Terrible, they're gonna take away our whole culture. They're gonna impose a new religion on us, on us and they're gonna impose systems like the encomienda system. It's gonna be really bad. The religion isn't that important. Econo economy is the most important thing in our nation. Oh my God, you're so stupid! So, um. They were just removed from the studio. Luckily enough, we have our next set of special guests. Joining us is a representative from the Fulani, as well as a member of the indigenous tribes. How do you guys feel on this stance? The Fulani are trying to impose the strict Islam onto the indigenous people because that's how we've been doing it. That's how the, the Arabs have been doing it and that's how we should be doing it. I think it would be better for both if you just mixed them all together. We've been creating schools. We've been creating schools so people can learn the Quran. We've been expanding our empire. Why should we not? Why, we should not mix the indigenous. We should be strictly only Islam. But change can be for the betterment of all people. Thank you for joining us. We apologize that the representatives did not cooperate and the interviews did not go as planned. 